This is lesson 4-4 on division. So you have your reteach worksheet here. Okay, division tells us how many equal groups there are or how many are in each group. So use the model that shows 27 counters in all. In all. So we know that this is 27 total. There are how many equal groups? Each one of these is an equal group. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna fill in that there are nine equal groups. Now, how many are in each group? So look at one group of your nine and write down how many are in each group. Okay, so we have 27 counters in all. There are nine equal groups and three in each group. So we wanna write our fact family. Our largest number, 27, goes on the top. And we have nine groups of three. So nine times three equals 27. We want to write two division equations for the model. Okay, remember, we can write two multiplication and two division for each fact family. So our large number 27 goes last in line for the multiplication, but it gets to go first in line. It's a little messy here. For the division. So then we get to do three times nine, nine times three, 27 divided by three is nine, and 27 divided by nine is three. So our two division problems would be 27 divided by nine is three, and 27 divided by three is nine. Remember, when you have a fact family of 27, nine, and three, nobody else gets to come over. It's a party for three, nine, and 27. So 27 divided by nine is three, 27 divided by three is nine. We can flip-flop these two right here, just like we could flip-flop them in multiplication. Okay, 40 divided by eight. Use the multiplication facts to divide. So if we wanna do 40 divided by eight, we have our fact family, 40 goes on the top, Eight goes here. So we're asking ourselves eight times what equals 40? That is a five. So therefore, 40 divided by eight equals five. With our fact family right here. 40 divided by eight equals five. Okay, next problem. There are 63 students eating lunch in the cafeteria. If there are, we got 63 students, if there are nine students at each table, how many tables are being used? So they want us to use a bar diagram. Bar diagram, our largest number always goes on top. There are nine students at each table and we wanna know how many tables do we need? Okay, so even though we're gonna use a bar diagram, let's draw our fact family triangle. 63 goes on the top, nine goes here. So we basically wanna know nine times what equals 63. Okay, you know your nines trick that whatever this number is, this is one less. So because this is a six, it has to be a seven. One less than seven is six, and six plus three is nine. So 63 divided by nine equals seven. Therefore, there are seven tables being used. Nine, 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 nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times nine is 63. Okay, on the back, Mr. Garrett has 32 notepads to distribute equally among eight students. How many notepads does each student receive? Draw a bar diagram and use a multiplication fact. So we need to bar, draw a bar diagram, multiplication fact. Okay, 32 notepads distributed equally between eight students. So, if we do our bar diagram, well first first let's just do our handy dandy triangle because our fact family triangle always helps us out. We have 32 on the top, that's our total, and we're gonna divide them equally among eight students. We know it's eight times what equals 32. Let's look at our bar diagram here. We got 32 up on the top, and we wanna know how many notepads does each student receive? Um, so there's going to be eight students 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they want to know how many notepads does each student get. So you have to ask yourself, eight times what equals 32? And that's four. Okay, so each student gets four notepads. Now they wanted us to also write a multiplication fact and that would be four times eight equals 32. Of course, you also could have written eight times four equals 32 and that leads you to your two division problems. And that, my friends, is division. Good job.